All right, in this video, I will show you guys how to access and stream media that are on your desktop from your Android. I think that's the most descriptive and eloquent way of saying what I wanted to say. All right, so let's get started. If you're familiar with Windows file sharing, this should be very simple. Uh, so here are all the things that you need to do from your Windows PC. Make sure that your computer and your Android are on the same network or are, are on the same Wi-Fi. Once that is established, go to network and make sure your desktop is enabled for file sharing. So there will be a thing right over here where you have to click right click and enable or it might be enabled by default. Then you're all set. Once that is done, the second step is make sure that you have a password protected user. Uh, if you don't have a password protected user on your computer, create a user that is password protected. Otherwise, this will not work. Once that is all done, you should be all set for your desktop. So let's go to Android and show you guys what to do. Do, 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 do. So we will need two applications. The first one is called ES File Explorer. Uh, most people have this application on their Android. If you take a look, it has more than 100 million downloads. And I'm guessing most people that are watching this video also has this application on their Android already. And the second application that we will need is a VLC player, uh, video land. I'm not sure what C stands for. I actually did. I just don't remember right now. Once you have those two applications installed, let's go to the next step. So you know what? Just to make it simple, I'm going to do one thing that you don't need to do, which is clear the app data for ES File Explorer so you guys can follow along with exactly what I'm doing. So let's go to ES File Explorer, not Google Drive, ES File and clear data. All right, so when you're opening up ES File Explorer, this is exactly what it will look like. It's one of the I would say one of the most useful application on Android. Once you have that, once you have ES File Explorer open, if you go to the top left hand corner, press this, go under network and then press LAN. And then you need to search for all the devices that are on your Wi-Fi or your LAN by pressing that button on the top right hand corner. And if you followed all the steps that I've mentioned previously, you should be able to see your computer listed in here. And we have it Arctic Panther. And then press on it, and then you're going to have to type in the password, type in the username and password. So that's what I said, uh, make sure you have a user that is password protected, otherwise file sharing will not work. So go ahead and type in the username and then I'm going to type in the password but I don't want people to see what my password is because I don't. Okay, once that is done, you will be in this screen. This will show all the folders that are currently shared. So here is how you share a folder so it's displayed here. This is basically Windows file sharing. There is really no difference. So uh, we're going to desktop this PC and the, the folder that I want to share is this one, Note 5 video. We have a couple of videos inside this folder. So you wanna right click, click properties, go ahead under sharing tab, sh uh, advanced sharing, and then share this folder, go permission, and then access allow control. You can just do read if you'd like, but I do full access or full control. The reason why is so I can delete uh, videos or folders from directly from my Android. And that's more convenient. All right. So once that is done, if you refresh that, it should show up the new folder that we have established. And it actually showed up without even refreshing. And there it is, Note 5 video. 
and this is why you need VLC player although you can go with the default player that's on your Android or on yes file explorer video LAN client that's VLC stands for is made for this kind of stuff it's for video LAN client so we're going to play one of the video to show you guys it works and I'm gonna set as default uh, app and open up VLC and it should play the video and it's actually playing on my Android the thing the application that I'm using to uh, preview my Android screen is not doing the best but you guys can probably hear this the speaker on my Android and it is indeed playing so let's try out the picture as well and it will it should work right over there uh, if you have any question comment down below I will respond to it for the next couple of days because I'm I would say I should be able to answer any questions that you guys have anyway guys thank you for watching if you're interested in uh, the application that I use to preview my Android screen uh, comment that comment down below and I will make my next video about that as well thank you